The 72 Summit Series is steeped in hockey lore. Canada and the Soviet Union, the seminal matchup of the two great hockey powers and the iconic players on both teams. In this country, it was an opportunity to affirm Canada's hockey supremacy against the backdrop of the Cold War. Back then, we didn't know a lot about the Soviets. They were this scary image. It became more than just one hockey team trying to beat the other. It was proving that our system was better than their, their system. For decades, Canada did reign supreme at the Olympics and in the amateur hockey world. But by the 1960s, the Soviet Union dominated. Their best could play, while Canadian professionals weren't allowed. So this series was our chance, finally, to prove our best were the best. Scoring in the opening seconds, Canada looked unstoppable. I think we had a smugness with goals quickly by Esposito on that. It just seemed like... You know, uh, Canada was vindicated. We were the, the hockey capital of the world. What happened next would change how the sport itself was viewed. The Soviets stormed back to take charge of the game and the series. In Vancouver, Canadian fans booed their heroes. Canada, of course, with grit and determination, proved their mettle when the series moved to Moscow. They were playing for their country now, and, and a huge amount of pride as hockey players and as Canadians was on the line. So I think that might be the greatest thing about the Canadian team is it showed resiliency and it showed the ability to come back um, from, from something where they, you know, look could be, to be a, a national disaster. But what the summit revealed was that international hockey was indeed worthy competition. It changed it and there was more respect for the international players. The North American game itself got better with the infusion of Russians and others. The Europeans were welcome to the NHL. Eventually, the Iron Curtain came down, and so the, the hockey world became a much bigger and open place as a result of that series. September 1972 was a roller coaster of emotions for hockey fans, and without giving away the ending, the Summit Series did show that Canadian hockey at times can be the best in the world. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.